now, your news on the go. Parts of Onondaga County are currently in a COVID-19 yellow zone, but Governor Cuomo warned yesterday that parts of the county could be under an orange zone as soon as this week. That's if COVID-19 data does not change drastically, which would mean new restrictions for some businesses and houses of worship. Schools would also likely go remote under an orange zone. And two zip codes in Syracuse will have targeted COVID-19 testing sites set up in their area tomorrow to help the spread. The Onondaga County Executive says the exact locations of the testing sites will be announced today. And the targeted testing sites are only for people who live within the 13204 and 208 zip codes. Pre-registration will be on the county's website. More cases of coronavirus are in the classroom as well, forcing some schools to go virtual, starting with FM. The high school will be remote today and tomorrow. In Central Square, AA Cole Elementary and all Oswego schools will be 100% remote learning until the Monday after Thanksgiving. And the Camden District will be remote for the rest of the month as well. The race for the 22nd Congressional District heads to court today. A judge in Oswego County will start taking a look at contested ballots this morning and affidavits tomorrow. By our count, Claudia Tenney currently leads incumbent Anthony Brindisi by just over 200 votes. The Clinton Square outdoor ice rink is planned to open this week. The exact day, though, does depend on the weather. The rink will have COVID-19 restrictions and protocols in place, but rentals will be available. More information is expected in the coming days. And it's almost time for tree lightings around the area. Syracuse's big virtual celebration is this Friday. The city set up a website this year where you can tune in for the tree lighting special. Of course, it will look a lot different than this. This is from years past. You can start watching the program at 6 p.m. Same will go for the city of Oswego. Their celebration is all online. That one starts at 5 p.m. Time now is 6.55. We'll head to Kate Thornton for a look at our weather. It's cool. You can already see them all set up in Clinton Square right now with all that. So it's really neat to go take a look. And it'll be, of course, it'll be wonderful to watch it all on the computer on Friday. All right, this is what it looks like over downtown. We're cloudy. Our rain has finally kind of tapered off. We still have a little bit of some snow showers around 38 degrees, but it feels like 28 outside because we have a very gusty wind still. That's not going anywhere today. Even though the rain and the snow is moving out, we're now just kind of hanging out parts of uh, Lowellville from Rome to Morrisville to Norwich. Uh, that will continue for, I'd say, about another half hour to 45 minutes. Temperatures around 40 today, but with that northwest wind, it's going to feel even colder. Really chilly tomorrow in the 30s. We're even dealing with some snow showers. Nicole, some of us in the higher elevation south of Syracuse could wake up to a nice fresh coating of new snow tomorrow morning. Sounding and looking mm -hmm. like November. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Kate. Thank you for waking up with us on the morning news. Good morning. America is up next. Make it a great Monday. Stay safe and stay healthy. Have a good day.